Our word of the day. Our word of the day comes from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 14. And it says, The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Praise the Lord. Grace of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. The grace of God. You know, we know that the grace of God is really the love that God has for us. It's his kindness. It's his blessings. It's his favor. It's his gracefulness. It's his gifts. These are the grace of God. And he gives them all to us. May that Holy Spirit be with you. We all want to walk in God's spirit all the time. Every minute of every day. Are we there yet? Uh, I don't think so. Because we still have flesh. And the flesh still battles with the spirit. And the spirit still battles with the flesh. But we're getting there. Because God is truly doing a mighty work with us. The things that used to bother us. They don't bother us anymore. The things that we used to do. We don't do them anymore. That's God filling us with the Holy Spirit. To take those things away from us. Do we still have a lot more stuff? I know I do. And I think everybody else still does too. But we know that God is truly with us. And God has us. So in 2 Corinthians 13 verses 11 to 14. It says. Finally brethren. Farewell. Become complete. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Praise the Lord. And how do we achieve all of these things? We give everything to the Lord. We become, the, if we can just surrender these things. Is it an easy thing to do? No, it's not just the easy things of just saying the words and then just doing them. Because we still have our bodies and we still have flesh and we still have our own mind and you know that's why it says be of one mind we want to be in the mind of Christ we want to be be of good comfort we want to be able to just lay it all down and give it all to the Lord and let the Lord figure it out and sort it out and guide us and lead us this is how we live in peace and this is how the love of God and peace will be with us just totally being completely surrendered in him. This is the Sabbath day of rest. This is all about resting in him today. Being in one mind, being in one peace, being in his love. It's all about resting in our Lord Jesus Christ. It says, greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. Then the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. All of those things, in one mind, being one spirit, loving one another, that's the rest in God that he wants us to have today. And Romans 16 verse 20 says, And the God of peace will crush Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. We will not be getting attacked. Satan won't be able to touch it because we will crush him. We know what the, the end of the story is. Satan will be defeated. He will be wiped out. He will not come near us. This word is saying we have to endure the fiery trials that to try us. But they will not last long. Because shortly we will, he will be defeated. And then the grace of God will be with us. The grace of God is always with us. 
God is always there blessing us, loving us, giving to us. Praise the Lord for that. It's 15.11, he says, But we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved in the same manner as they. We believe. We believe that God loves us dearly. Amen. Because he tells us. We believe that he will bless us because he tells us. We believe that God will give us favor. He will. He will. So truly, this is really about believing that the Lord is true to his promises. He will truly save us. He will help us. He is with us. The grace that he has for us is kindness and blessing and favor. All those things are truly the grace of the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 23, it says, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for just showing us and telling us that, you know, Satan will be defeated. We will crush him underfoot. know that you would do it all so we have faith and trust in you today we are to rest in you today so I pray for all my brothers and sisters here all my ones that listen to this in the future that we just we just let it all go let all our burdens go get all our issues go let all the things that's going on around us and in the world we just let it all go and we just let you just give us the peace and the rest today. Your Sabbath day of rest. Honoring you. We give all the honor and all the praise and all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you all peace today. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful, blessed Sabbath day today.